What's going on people, it's Carlos here and I haven't made a video in a while, sorry about that but uh, I wanted to talk about two things regarding the Vita now first up, YouTube app is no longer working it stopped working the first week of June um, you try to go and uh, search a video or look at your favorites, history, whatever even your subscription box is gone, so yeah YouTube app, rest in peace, you'll be dearly missed anyway, second off, PlayStation Mobile it's going to be closing September 10th. I am pretty okay with it. It's not going to hurt me because, for one, um, PlayStation Mobile did start out in 2009 as a alternative for Google Play. You know, Google Play started out as well. It didn't have as many apps, but uh, PlayStation Mobile was focused for gaming on the go, which is mobile, on your Sony Xperia devices. First, the first phone to have this feature was the Xperia Play. I remember seeing it. I remember you playing the game. I remember playing Crash Bandicoot on it, and man, it was so, it was so awesome playing a video game on a mobile, a mobile phone. I mean, uh, the PSP Go I had, um, you know, had the same five-inch display and everything, you know, except it was uh, Android based because you can also make phone calls and text messages and stuff and it was the first phone to feature button layout because uh, you know or first smartphone to with button layouts with uh, you know instead of the QWERTY keyboard it was you know the PlayStation buttons um, but I, as years passed um, Sony ended up removing PlayStation 1 support on the mobile because I, I believe people were pirating and such so yeah, I mean the emulator was, uh, I think the best emulator out there. But you can always find third-party PlayStation emulators out there uh, from the Play Store now. I rem I can tell you on why they're closing it down. For one, they're focusing on PlayStation Four. I mean, I have my Vita right here, and I'll show you a game. You know, compared to the pricing, because it's gonna be the same price as the Google Play Store version. PlayStation 4 is, is being more supported now, more developers are taking into that. Number two, PlayStation has a lot of services and I, I'm guessing they need to cut back on one of them because for one, I believe they're losing money and for that matter, you know, they, they want to get rid of the one service that has been losing money and that's PlayStation Mobile. Because back in the day, when Google Play barely, you know, had any applications, um, Google, um, PlayStation Mobile was the place to get games for, you know. But after that, Google Play got better, had more support, and you know, it just left mobile in the in the dust, you know, which was a shame, you know. Um, and also, I mean, okay, so PlayStation has five services right now, right? It has. PlayStation Now, PlayStation View, PlayStation Music, PlayStation Video, and PlayStation Mobile. They gotta get rid of one, so they're just gonna have four. PlayStation Plus does count as another service, but uh, that's because it's a service for the PS4, just for multiplayer. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you PlayStation Plus, I mean, mobile. I'm gonna show you, you know, this game Chaos Rings, right? Okay, $7.99, that's cool. You can pretty much get the same game for the same price. Okay, you gotta wait because of the Wi Fi, it's closed. $7.99 for it. Although, for some reason, oh, okay, I haven't rated it, I think. But, um, yeah, you know, the only difference is that PlayStation Mobile has the ability to use button layout. Whereas this, you have to use a touch screen. Although, with PlayStation, it's with the Xperia Z here, I can use my PlayStation 3 controller and pretty much control it uh, same thing as well as the Vita. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's uh, something, you know, like that. Uh, most games can be expensive, but most of them can be free. And But most of them, they have more updates on the Google Play version than on the mobile version, you know. Because for one, 
um, they update constantly, but also the bugs can break the game as well. So, you know, just gotta be careful on that. PlayStation Mobile did have updates on uh, games, but I believe they stopped doing them now because, um, you know, after July 15th, there's not gonna be no more updates for any of the games. And also, if you don't download the games before September 10th, you lose access to all your games, either paid or free. So you better download them on your Vita or on your Xperia Play or Z or, or T2 or or V or whatever whatever phone is compatible. You know, there's a lot of Xperia phones out there. I don't know every single one, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's about it, you know. Um, and if you found this information useful, you know, please write comments and subscribe if you want. Um, I'll be making more videos soon, so stay tuned. As always, I'm Carlos, and I'll see you on the next one.